Hello my dear friends, and welcome to All About Mars Surface. What you're looking at right now isn't just a barren wasteland. It's a monument carved by time itself. These shattered slabs, these layered rocks, these silent ridges, they're the timeless guardians of a planet that once breathed, burned, and maybe even bloomed with life. Captured by NASA's Mars Cosi rover, this region, known as the Nuclear Plateaus, was once sculpted by flowing rivers and whispering winds. Now it stands frozen in silence, a sacred surface of Mars, still holding the echoes of its living past. NASA's Curiosity and Perseverance rovers have sent back new images, and among them are rocks that have stunned the entire scientific world. These rocks aren't ordinary. Their shapes, their colors, and their layers seem to whisper, we were once beneath the water. Mars was never silent. Billions of years ago, rivers flowed here, lakes shimmered, and perhaps even oceans covered its surface. When the water dried up, the winds sculpted the land, and the rocks changed their colors. Those very rocks became the time capsules of Mars, each line, each crack, holding a memory of a time when Mars was alive. Some of these rocks contain clay minerals, and such minerals form only in the presence of water. That means these rocks once touched liquid water. It's within these minerals that scientists are searching for the faint traces of ancient life. Recently, near the Gale Crater, the Curiosity rover discovered new layered formations. They look almost as if designed by an architect. With cross-bedded layers, vein-like lines, and mineral veins showing that groundwater once flowed through them. Some of these rocks even contain silica-rich veins. Silica forms only where heat and water coexist, meaning there was once a hydrothermal system here, and those environments are perfect breeding grounds for microscopic life. Friends, some Martian rocks are so oddly shaped that it almost seems like someone carved them. A few even resemble organic fossils, branch-like, coral-like, or even tree-like structures. While scientists explain these as products of erosion, one can't help but wonder, is it really all erosion? Or is there something more, something we haven't understood yet? Some NASA experts say the Martian soil shows chemical fingerprints similar to microbial fossils found on Earth. Could it be that Mars once hosted microlife? Every new rock seems to open a new door to that mystery. Now, let's talk about color. The colors of Mars rocks, red, golden, brown, even black, aren't just beautiful. They're chemical signatures. Red comes from iron oxide, black from basalt, the remains of ancient lava. In some areas, hints of blue or green appear, signs of copper, magnesium, and hydrated salts. These hues tell us Mars's surface was once a vast chemical laboratory. Every shade, every tone is evidence of water-rock interaction, and perhaps the earliest seeds of life. Millions of years ago, when the water vanished, only the wind remained, and the wind reshaped everything. That same wind still sculpts Mars today. NASA's cameras have observed cliffs still being eroded by fine dust particles. Mars, in its silence, is still moving, still alive. Those drifting sands and dancing dust are the slow, steady breaths of time, carving a new face of the red planet. Scientists believe the greatest truth of Mars is locked within its stones. Each rock holds trapped gases, crystals, and salts that tell us there once was an atmosphere and water. Now, rovers are drilling into these stones, collecting samples that will soon be brought back to Earth in future missions. Perhaps in those very samples, we'll finally find the proof that Mars was once alive. Sometimes, it feels like these rocks aren't just stones, they're memories. 
They've preserved moments when the universe dreamed of something new, life. That dream now lies buried in dust, yet its echo still hums through the Martian winds. Maybe one day, when humans set foot there, these same rocks will greet us and say, you've come home. Every rover that landed on Mars, from spirit to perseverance, has seen something strange. Ridges shaped like waves, stones stacked like walls, and surfaces cracked like dried riverbeds. At first glance, they look random, but when scientists studied them, they discovered patterns, geological fingerprints left by ancient water and wind. Some rocks show layered sediments, just like we find near lakes on Earth. Others contain minerals like hematite and silica, which can only form in water or hydrothermal environments. That means, long ago, Mars wasn't dry. It was sculpted by rivers, rains, and maybe something more. In 2016, Curiosity rover captured an image of something small, a strange, thin object sticking out from a rock. It looked like a fossilized spine or a coral-like structure. NASA called it a mineral vein, formed by ancient groundwater. But for many researchers, it raised a bigger question. If Mars had liquid water, heat, and time, could it also have had life? Across Gale Crater and Jezero Crater, scientists have found structures called stromatolite analogs, layered rock formations that on Earth are created by microbes. No one is claiming proof yet, but these patterns, curved, dome-like, repeating, are eerily familiar. Maybe billions of years ago, Mars had microbial mats growing in shallow lakes. Life so tiny, only its traces remain. Then there's the mystery that captures everyone's imagination. Rock shapes that look designed, pillars standing upright, geometric blocks, something that almost resembles a broken statue. NASA scientists say these are natural erosional formations created by wind, sand, and time. But even they admit, Mars erosion acts differently than Earth's. The planet's thin atmosphere and fine dust carve stones in sharp, precise lines. That's why some rocks seem engineered, even when they're not. Still, some formations are so symmetrical that they fuel endless debate. Were they shaped only by wind? Or did Mars once have processes geological or biological, that we still don't fully understand? What's visible is only half the story. Radar scans from orbit show that beneath the surface of Mars lie layered sediments, frozen water, and possibly ancient underground channels. ESA's Mars Express and NASA's Sherad radar have even detected ice sheets hidden under dust some stretching for hundreds of kilometers. That means, under these silent rocks, there might still be frozen oceans waiting to tell their story. And where there's preserved ice, there might be preserved life. Every strange stone, every cracked ridge, every tiny fossil-shaped shadow, it all adds up to something bigger. Mars is not dead, it's just waiting waiting for us to decode its story, written not in words, but in stone. So as you watch these images, remember, these are just rocks from another world. They're the oldest witnesses in the solar system. And one day, they might answer the question that defines all of us. Did life ever begin beyond Earth? Because on Mars, even the stones seem to. This is all about Mars' surface, where every image brings you closer to the truth hidden beneath the red dust. If you think you've seen everything, wait till you see what lies under the next rock. Thanks for watching this video.